to get out of here. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh?
I just wanted to Arthur. say... Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Are you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. Mr. McGuire is back! And don't so you come worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old clown. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And you get a bump on the head, <sighs> And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <sighs> I love you, bastards. <laughs> Have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Stay away from that whisk. Don't remember much about last night. Any of you boys ever made it to Australia yet? <laughs> Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton.
Miss Karen, all good? Too good. Like the chance to shoot a fella and not feel bad about it. <laughs> Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Stay alert. Okay, boy. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um, uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. 
He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. My ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. 
kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch, then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The lights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him, bottle in hand. Getting close now. Hey, partner. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. All right, then. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day.
discovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur. Just come and speak with Mary. Then make up your mind. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help.
Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Arthur, I'm a man now. I, 
I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me. But your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But, all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Are you still with Dutch and, what was his name, H Hester? Jose, yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Here we are. She must be waiting inside.
You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. Evening party. 
Jack's killed Playoff. New patron. Welcome. Let's have a look. Smile on your face, guaranteed. It's a nice piece and all, but I'd personally add some rifling. Take it or leave it. Carry it with pride. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. Yep, this is the one. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. Good, good. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. It's a nice piece and all, but I'd personally add some rifling. Take it or leave it. Got what I need.
You Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kinda look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. There's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Oh, Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me. Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. <sighs> really do not know.
is subnormal. I have been... Uh, you do seem to keep blacking out. Oh, sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. We don't understand you more. That's the truth. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. Oh. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. Oh. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. Okay, boy.
Welcome back, sir. A pleasure. Done. Enjoy. Your horse will be fine here. Good morning, Art. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? 
I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Hey, Arthur. Hello, Mr. Jones. Hello, Mr.
Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. 
precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing him. Then let's do it. Yep. on this ridge. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. now. It's just you and me, sweetheart.
next time I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Hey, luck! Come on, boy! Here. Find a new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take, a new wagon to boot. Judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up that shit! Now, we're being robbed! What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! You okay? Saving bullets is such a concern of yours. and get out of here. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. Come on, I'm happy to do it myself.
Go on then. I'm done with that to do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow. Tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. Let's we'll see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Okay, boy. in there. Those bastards been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. You watch yourself, all right? What happened to you two? Cowering like dogs. You wouldn't give us no guns, Pa. This is the worst idea I've ever had. We're with you on that.
Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it! Hey! Get back here! You owe us money! The more I chase, the more you owe! But it's hidden. Untie me, and I'll tell you where it is. You're no place to bargain, boy. <sighs> Goddamn treasure hunt? You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Save me. <gasps> you got the map. <clears throat> you got the map. Do the decent thing. Aren't you gonna untie me?
Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn money. Son of a bitch. Uh. No! You want to die? Don't do this! Does that mean yes? Not taking any chances.
home, Jack. Read for me, little. I'm hungry, Mama. We're all hungry, son. You never got us that oil wagon, did you? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I clean forgot. Well, don't worry. It's taken care of. Otherwise, we'd miss that train. Thank you. You're still interested in the job, ain't you? Well, yes, but, um, uh, I think we'll need another man. I like Charles Smith for this kind of thing. I'll get him. You meet us at the wagon when you can. There's an old burnout shack up near the border north of a place called Dewberry Creek. We stashed it there. Thank you. See you, Arthur. Even you make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes. Hey, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from Sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. All right, 
This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Where's your pole, Uncle Arthur? You can't fish without a pole. Now first, we need some bait. Some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Well, ignore that one, Jack. That was my mistake. Tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Whoop, think I got one. Pull him in. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling them in nice and steady. Look, Jack, it's a smallmouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. See what's biting there. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? 
I guess. Hmm. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... A guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see... I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. This necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. 
A fella named um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm.